his hands up there. Good morning. It is Friday, September 29. Today is day 15 on the Camino de Santiago Frances. Just left San Val. It's 6.30. Uh, we only have a short day to Castro Jerez. 13 kilometers. But everyone got up and started leaving when we were the last ones, so we left. Hopefully we can get some coffee in the next town. Might be too early. Uh, it's so nice and quiet here. It's like... Yeah. <laughs> There's the moon. Like, there's no other pilgrims about. Like, nobody. And those lights, like, it makes me think, is there an airport close by here? Yeah. Oh, but there's lights there, too. So maybe there is an airport around here. Suzanne's just talking to her family. You know that song? Moonshadow. Yeah. Moon shadows. I just what it is. But who what sang that? Eh? Who sang that? Who is it? It's um, um, Bob Dylan or. No. like a little oasis, all of a sudden you see it. <laughs> and this is Fontana's and all the wildlife. It's a good thing we didn't know about this before because, well, there's a little fox. We knew there were snakes, we didn't see any. And they have wolves. We did hear, hear a bunch of um, different birds this morning. It is 7.30. Look at, look at how beautiful it is. What a cute little town. And that's the moon, not the sun. Because the sun is coming up. Santa Brigida de Suecia. So we just had a stop at Santa Brigida. It is also an albergue, and we had some breakfast, grabbed some coffee, saw Hannah uh, from day three, I think you remember, I told you she slept in a playground, uh, so we just saw her. She spent two days here, apparently Santa Brigitta, Brigitta this albergue, has a spa, so, and they have some... Sometimes there's little pools here. Very cute town. Okay, so this is the Santa Brigida Spa. Hydrotherapy. And it's like a little oasis. I would um But if you want to go from Burgos to Contanas, I think it's 32 kilometers. But this would be a nice day. You could stay at the albergue. Um, and then it is 20 euros for 90 minutes. 
Albergue Brigida, Santa Brigida, in Hontanas. Um, I think this would be a great option. I didn't know about this place. I think I would have stayed here. I think this is a little medical center, Consultorio de Atenzione Primaria. So oh, that's good to know. And then here is the church. Oh, Hontana's is, I think this is probably my favorite little city, town, sorry, town. And that church. left Tontanas. Had my cafe con leche. Jeanette, thank you so much for buying me a cafe con leche. I'm so happy that you're uh, loving my videos and finding them helpful. Uh, so, Hontanas. I would definitely stay in Hontanas. What a cute little town. Really nice. Um, if you were coming from Burgos, that would mean 31, 32 kilometers, but I would definitely do that. It is beautiful. Just get an early start in Burgos, and uh, you'd probably be there by 2.30. Um, yeah, I would do that. And then do an hour and a half at that spa. They had a pool and a sauna. I, I would so do that. Uh, that would be a really nice treat. And I looked it up. To stay at that albergue was uh, 13 euros for the bed and uh, 12 euros for the dinner. And then you'd add the 20 euros for the hour and a half in the spa. So that would be a great option. Back to Rocky Pass. How much I missed you. And going downhill. To top it off. This is actually, oh well, there are rooms, but you can stay here. It's a hostel, but no electricity. Donativa and get your stamp. Oh, and they have a towel cross. Very cute. And some cookies. Biscuits. I present I present the Oh my god. So you can actually stay here. And you would be sleeping in one of those rooms. Mm -hmm. That's all. 
Oh, there it is. And then you see Castro Chavez. Uh, yeah, so we're almost there. Less than two kilometers to go. It's 11 a.m. We've taken our time this morning. We only had 13 kilometers. We sat in San Anton for a bit and chatted with Hannah and uh, Melissa from San Francisco came in. Uh, San Francisco or Seattle? Can't remember. Um, she had a fall this morning uh, coming out of her Nilos. She wasn't paying attention and uh, she had quite a bad fall, but she's okay. Um, she had her headlight on, but she was adjusting something and she didn't look down and she tripped. So please always pay attention. It's when you get distracted that's that's when things happen. I'm uh, not sure if you can see the castle ruins at the top of Castro Jerez on a hilltop. Um, since we're so early and we only did 13 kilometers, we're going to go up to the top. Apparently it's a kilometer up and a kilometer down. So we'll do that. We're here. And these people just got dropped off. La Riconda. <coughs> Bed is 13, dinner is 10. Oh, I didn't realize they had dinner, so that's good. And they open at noon. So. I'm gonna quickly show you. Uh, so there's Eight in this one. I picked this one right here. There we get a locker, uh, and then there's another room here with six, and then uh, men's washroom, no women's washroom, two toilets, and two showers. And then, it's not co-ed, this is the men's. And then there's some private rooms. So it's the same way, you get these um, paper sheets to put on the mattress and then one for your pillow. I know choosing a bed is so tricky, so I switched from picking this one, it was right by the door in the other room, because I get a plug here, and you have that little one over there. And there's only um, another five people in this room. And I'm right by the window, so it'll be cool. So I didn't realize my outburg is outside of town. It's right as you come in, and then uh, you just walk into town. I mean, it's not far, but it's not like in the town center. It's a very nice little burger, and uh, they still had beds available. It wasn't full. So, it's good to know. I guess maybe it wasn't full because it's not um, right in town, maybe. Also, I thought the price was really good 13 euros. That's great. Uh, and the meal, 10 euros. I think you get like a first, second meal, um, the 
first meal is like a salad usually, but it's a good salad. And then I think it was chicken and rice, which is fine. And then you get a dessert. And as always, they serve it with wine and water. So at first we were all gung-ho about going up to the ruins, but it is quite hot out. Um, and we decided we're not going to make the trek up <laughs> with the heat. I'm trying to find a grocery store to see if I can get one of those little pasta salads to have for lunch. This place in Castor Giras offers um, pilgrims meditation every day at 6 and it's donation based. Yes, a chocolate bar and a Casley Mill that by the time I got to my albergue it was warm. It is so hot, hot out. <laughs> so I had to use the washing machine because you can't wash upstairs and there's nowhere else. So that's four euros, but three to dry. But you can dry out here, which I think that's what I'm going to do. It's warm enough, even if the sun is not hot, to dry here. Our shoes out here, and I guess in the morning we'll have to leave them here. But yeah. We just finished the introductory tour at the Magnolia de Santo Domingo. Interesting. One euro with your pilgrim's passport. Two fifty if you don't have a pilgrim's passport. I think it was a Spanish. So let's do the closing for tonight. Tonight I'm in, in Castro Jerez. Yes. <laughs> Just finished having dinner. Uh, total spent for today was 40 euros. Um, it was 13 euros to stay here, 10 euros for dinner, which was so good. Uh, the roasted chicken was so delicious. Everyone was so full. It was very good dinner. Suzanne and uh, Melissa ended up coming and having dinner here because um, they didn't like the menu at their place. Uh, I also got a breakfast for tomorrow morning because they start serving at 6 a.m. So I got breakfast that was four euros. So I'm doing that. Um, what else? Breakfast today was three euros, I believe. And then I spent 10 euros at the grocery store, which I thought was expensive. But I got myself the salad that I had for lunch, the uh, Aquarius or Kaz, lemon Kaz. Um, what else did I get? A peach, a banana, uh, and I think that's all I got. So that's it for today. Tomorrow I'm going to Boadillo del Camino. I think only 19 kilometers the plan is to leave here at 7 a.m. Um, it's supposed to be 31 tomorrow but um, we don't think it's gonna take us that long probably four hours to get there so we should be fine and we won't have to stop for breakfast really because we've had breakfast so that is it thank you for watching See you tomorrow.